Well, a man acquitted of his partner's murder has reportedly led police to the whereabouts of his body in bushland in Sydney's south. Matthew Leveson was, well, he disappeared in, back in 2007 with his partner, Michael Aitkins, later cleared of killing him. Joining me now is our Sky News senior reporter, Amy Greenbank. Amy, an extraordinary development. How does that work if he's been acquitted and then he's turned around and led them to the body? It certainly is a remarkable development, Peter, and it's happened on the final day of the inquest. It was just adjourned today, and it was the inquest into Leveson's disappearance. Now, Michael Atkins was acquitted of his boyfriend's murder, but has reportedly led police here to the Royal National Park at Waterfall, which is around an hour south of Sydney. Now, his partner, Matthew Leveson, disappeared almost 10 years ago. He was last seen leaving the Ark nightclub at Surrey Hills, which is in the city, around 2 a.m. in the morning, and his car was later located by police in Sutherland, which is a suburb fairly close to here. Now, five years after he vanished, a reward was announced for $100,000 for any information leading to the discovery of his body. Uh, at the moment, I can tell you a crime scene has been established here in the park and police are conducting an extensive search of the area. Uh, we'll bring you any more information as it comes to hand. All right, Amy, appreciate the update. Thank you. Sleep. And then, then Sunday was sort of like fairly normal and we sort of came home. And then, uh, you know, watched um, Idol on TV. And um, then um, um, I fell asleep in the lounge, you know, watching sort of TV, and woke up a little while later and he wasn't at home. So I sent him a text and said, you know, where are you, whatever. And I didn't really worry about it too much because he doesn't work on Mondays. Yeah. And he's got a, you know, a group of friends that he you know, goes, goes out with. Yeah. What happened on Sunday? What time did you wake up? Uh, in the afternoon sometime, about 2 o'clock or something. 2 or 3. Yeah. And then we sort of just had, you know, lazy Sunday afternoon really. Did you wake up together? Um, yeah, pretty much I think. Yeah. So you got up? Yep. Did you eat? No. Yeah. This has like water. Didn't have much, I don't think. And um, um, I think just had some juice. And um, did Matthew eat? No. And then what happened? Um, we just sort of spent like a lazy day. So um, you know, it sat around the unit. And did you leave the unit at all? Um, I think once or twice. Did you go there? Oh, I think I just left. Go for a walk to the mall. Uh, to a walk. To the mall. What time would that have been? In the afternoon, sometime. I don't know, four o'clock, five o'clock, somewhere. Okay. So from the time you went to sleep at five to the time you wake up at two, um, obviously you were in the unit the whole time. Yep. And Matthew. Yeah, I assume so. To your knowledge. To my knowledge. He didn't leave. Yeah. And was it the first time you left the unit about five o'clock yep, on so. Sunday to go for a walk down the mall? Yep. Did you buy anything? Mm, don't think so. Yep. Well, um, Michael just wished to inform you that um, earlier today we um, located a, a, a green Toyota Corolla, uh, which is mm. we understand is um, Matthew's car. Do you understand that? Yep. Okay. And that car was found at uh, Waratah Oval in Sutherland. Is there anything you can say about that? Mm, don't think so. Is there any thing that comes to mind uh, when we tell you that we've located his car at Waratah Oval? Not really. Yeah. I've, I've become aware that um, Waratah Oval is a, a, a meeting point of, of um, some regard for, um, for the gay community. Okay.